have no reason to play games. So I describe myself as being spoiled because I spoil myself. I think I'm just zero tolerant. I'll be alone before I settle for some little I'm not playing. I love to win. Willis, what you got for me? We're going to have a good freaking time, and we're going to find love. I know every handsome, successful, single man in this city. I am so proud of you. I know there's a lot of pain there. You just got to build on it. Cross fingers and hope for the best. With sisterhood, communication is key. Well, I communicate with everybody. There is no way that I know how to communicate. Okay. I love a country man. They take care of their women. Are these for you? Yes, of course. I like the way you look at me. I'm enjoying where we are. You know how to have a good time. If you were to find someone, could you find yourself moving here? I'm happy that we all decided to make the move. I'm nervous. It's all in one. Like, I got the bubble guts, a little bit, feet, sweat, hands, sweat. But I'm here for it. I'm from the first season of Ready to Love. I need to just know that this is real. I want us to be exclusive. While on Ready to Love, I thought I actually met my soulmate, Alex. It was definitely a gift and a curse. Some of you might be aware that over the Thanksgiving holiday, Alex contracted a very rare flu virus, which spread to his brain, leaving him currently hospitalized. I'm not married, but I love him. And I knew I had to be strong for Alex because I don't want him to hear a weak voice in me. That's it. Luckily for Alex, he did make a recovery. But when all the smoke cleared, I asked him two things. Do not lie to me. Do not embarrass me. And um, he did both. Shouldn't have backed off. I'm just going to be more assertive this time. Instead of just trying to be cool, I need to let my point be no. Oh my god. I want to grow old with somebody. I want to find my forever bestie, my forever man. Back off, back off, can't touch me. Hats off, hats off, you. Shy New Orleans better get ready. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready. I'm already here. I was on season three of Ready to Love, where I dated Joel. I would like to continue this journey to see where it leads as well. I just give me some TV, <laughs> man. It didn't work out the way that I thought that it should have. About two weeks after filming, he just, he changed. And he made it seem like I was moving too fast. He wasn't ready for what he came on the show and pretended that he was ready for. Hey, girl, hey. I think I'm truly ready to love now because I've done the work. The only thing that's kind of missing in my life is love. How are I want somebody to take care of me. Match my energy, my spirit, and my heart. Are you excited? Yes! I'm super excited. I'm glad to see you. I'm so excited to be going through this experience with my Ready to Love sisters. We support one another, and you know, we try to stay in touch. I already put some beads on. I would date myself in a heartbeat. I am dateable. <laughs> On my season, I said things that were very direct and very honest, and it may have hurt other people. Yeah. I try to well, culture go. into <laughs> and crossing her knees. But it was like, what else was I supposed to say? Bitch, I would slap the f out of you. Let's be f clear. Let's Let's me. Let's Let's me. Me. Let me. What scared me was the divorce and the kids. That's baggage for me. Honestly, if I say something and you don't like it and you don't like me, I'm OK with that, because baggage is baggage. This is gorgeous. Now I feel like lights. I'm back in Miami. I got my little palm trees. <laughs> I can do this. Walk in the room like I'm about to make a move, yeah. I did not think I was going to be back here 
on TV, trying to find love again. But when you get a second chance to do something right, go for it. During my season, I was a little misunderstood. Well, that's now very well, I'm saying her ish. Yo, that's God, God, God. God. So what did she say? People were like, oh, she's a me girl. Now, I remember being nice to everybody. You showed your whole true colors this mother weekend. Period. My last serious relationship was with the guy I met on Ready to Love DC, Nye. Also want to highlight our connection because we didn't make one. You and Nye. Yes, please, thank you. We dated for 10 months after the reunion before going our separate ways. In the past, I have expressed anger in very toxic ways. I also have had emotional outbursts. Hello. Hello. You look fabulous. You do. <laughs> but, you know. Count, countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Woo <-sa. laughs> I'm nervous, guided. A little nervous, a little excited. Okay. Little yeah. excited. <laughs> Any expectations? Right. I do have an expectation of actually finding someone. So yes. out of that, just have fun, have a good time with you guys. Yes. I get to know you all better outside yes. of yes. you all show and what we were able to see. How did y'all feel about um social media and the internet talking about our shows. I'm like, like yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Leave them people alone. They don't right. know me. Nobody cares what they think. Yeah. I know who I am. Yeah. They want to know what happened to Alex and why am I not with him. Yeah. Right. Well, what happened to Alex and why are you not with mm. him? He's a liar. Um, a let's, liar. Let's get into it. First of all, his name is not Alex, it's Courtney. His name is Courtney Alexander. His apartment wasn't in his name. It was in the best friend name. Your car was in the sugar mama name and okay. your name. Sugar mama? Yeah. yeah. I have to find out why you're unconscious and still give you positive light, still pray mm -hmm. for you. That's because ridiculous. Because at the end of the day, he just was not who he said he was. Mm -hmm. Alex. I'm taking care of this man, and I'm trying to do everything I'm supposed to do, and I'm not even a white. I loved you genuinely, and you played me on national television. And I'll never trust you again, but I do forgive you, and I'm over it, and I'm moving forward, and that's why God is blessing me. I'm looking forward to meeting these guys. I hope they're cute, smart, oh, no. and fit. <laughs> I don't want no one shaped like yeah. my auntie. And good no, team. no, no. Ladies! Hi! 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 Welcome to New York. Okay. Hey. 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 Come on, it's hot out here, girl. Yeah. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> this is my host? I don't know. I know she looks pretty. You're my color. Oh, yes. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> Welcome to your new home. My name is Tamika Lee. Uh -huh. I'm a matchmaker. <gasps> is that what I need? I need that. Everything I'm doing is wrong. We need a woman's touch. Hey, love, love, I do. I've been successfully married over 16 years. We have two incredible kids, and I love the life that we've created. And it's time for you to have your version of the same thing. Well, you've already taken a very big leap, right? You're all moving in together, but now it's time to take an even bigger one, finding love. For each of you, right? Your hometown never brought you the man of your dreams. You've had a few almost, but never, no doubt about it. So you can't find love where you are. It's time for something new. And that new is New Orleans. Yes. <laughs> and who knows, by the end of this journey, you might not only find the love of your life, you might also fall deeply in love with the city. Hell, by the end of this, all four of you might be calling New Orleans home, right? Well, maybe. <laughs> if I met someone moving to New Orleans for him, it would have to be someone worth it and someone who could afford it. What experience do you hope to get out of this? And why has love been so hard to find? So Zadia, let's start with you. So I'm from Atlanta, Georgia originally, but I live in Washington, DC. What's the dating pool out there? Um, it has um, PP and E. coli in it. You are. And I <laughs> don't want to go swimming there anymore. <laughs> dating in DC, people go into dating looking for something so specific, it's so out of reach. And I want to be loved for all of me and not feel like I need to hide a portion of me to satisfy a man. Vernisha. Uh -huh. My story's right. a little different because I have three daughters. Okay. 21, 18, and 15. All right, I'm there with you. I got you. I can't just date anything and anybody. It's always been about my kids. Now that they're older, I am in a place where I am ready to put me first. I'm looking at four beautiful women, successful women. Y'all check all the boxes, and I get it. Your journey to find love has been rocky, 
but this time you've got me. All right. Yay. All right, and I got you. I'm here to help you. So how about we get started right now? All righty. <laughs> That's right, ladies. I've invited 25 handsome, single, grown-ass men to join us here today. Let bring it, it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Bring it. I didn't know 25 single men existed, you know, uh, equality man. <laughs> anyway. So and guess what, ladies? Oh They're on their way here right now. Okay. Wait, can we my wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so go upstairs, get yourself ready, get high. We got some hot boys coming. Oh. We are about to have company. <laughs> oh. Walked in with the crew. Everybody staring like, wait, who are you? Hey guys. <laughs> Ladies, since your hometown didn't provide you a man. How about I introduce you to all that New Orleans has to offer? 25 handsome single men, and all of them are here because they want a serious relationship with an amazing woman like you. The fact that I had 25 good looking brothers ready to mingle, sign me up for that summer camp. Anytime, mom and dad. All right, so as your matchmaker, it's my first chance to get a sense of what you're attracted to. The more I learn about what you want, the better I'll be able to find you what you need. Each one of you will invite one of these incredible men to spend more time with us tonight. Take a good look, because each of you will need to make your pick right now. We're all like looking around you, trying to focus. It's hard, it was hard to focus. <laughs> Vernicia, you seem ready. Ball dude, shades, you. Uh huh. All right, it took you longer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zadie, who has your eyes? I'll do you in a gray suit. All right. Cherise, I went from their feet all the way up to their head. I'm looking at hygiene, I'm looking at style, what type of shoes he has on. Does he look confident? You know what? This guy in the blue, he was the first one I laid my eyes All on. All right, nice. And I like that he has on this nice blue suit. Actually, last but not least, who are you going to pick? Okay, you in the brown. Hey, bring them on down. Come on, baby. Hey, love. All right, we're all set. Ladies and our four gentlemen, let's head inside. So, first and foremost, right. what's your type? You. Oh, you got all that answer. Chocolate, short. <laughs> Just like, I love it. Um, so what are you looking for in a relationship? I am looking for a great personality. So I wanted a solid foundation of friendship that's going to organically transform into a full life relationship. Boy, you could do pageants the way you gave me that answer. Donald. He kind of gave me high school feelings, where you see a new kid in class, and you start making, you know, hey, do you need help going to your next class? I am really, I'm feeling you. How you doing? Hi. So we finally have made it, huh? Uh, we are here. You know, um, for me, I want to get to know you. You know okay. what I mean? It's important. Mm. So when the last time you've been in a relationship? Oh, you, oh, you jumping in then. OK, know. you don't even want to know where I'm from? You didn't even ask me my name. Tell me a little bit about you. OK. I mean, are you going to be specific with the question? Uh, or? OK. I think I'm single because I'm not going to settle. And dating just has not been fun for me. That dry, still conversation that always happens at the beginning. So just say the next five or 10 years, what are your goals? It can become um, daunting. Oh, that is a, a really great question. Yeah, for real. And we can come back to that. I know that I can lack patience, but if that's where I am, my time is valuable. So how old are you? I'm 43. Yeah, okay. how old are you? 42. Okay, I'm gonna look at it out. Uh. You have kids? Yes, I do. I have, uh, I, my daughter's actually in school in Texas, in Prairie View. My daughter? 
daughters at Prairie View. Uh -huh. I'm almost an empty nester. Almost. <laughs> you getting to put out, I'm pushing them out. I'm on the countdown. <laughs> What you do? And I'm a salon owner. So yeah. you the boss, okay. So, yeah. you, so how do you turn it off? If you always own, how do you turn it off? So I know how to turn it off in relationships. Okay. So if I have a man that comes in that's able to take on that role, mm -hmm. and he's leading us in the right direction, I am okay with sitting in the passenger side. Okay, all right. I mean, because I don't really know nothing about hair. You no, know, it's not even about hair. <laughs> the conversation was flowing. <laughs> Me and Jabari have so much in common. And I'm liking this. So you can do me a Steve Harvey job? Child, no, I don't do <laughs> I can't do no Steve Harvey job. Put me some little glue no on the top. Man, we, no man <laughs> So I'm a military officer. Nice. I've been an esthetician for 20 years. Wow. I live in Miami. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore. My family's from Baltimore. No way. Baltimore. I got two sisters in Baltimore. Do you mm. have any kids? I have kids. I have three sons, actually. Yeah. 13, 11, four. Four oh. years is. Recent. Yeah, I'm thinking, how did I pick a guy with a four-year-old? Four years old, I need you, daddy. Oh, I'm a 40-year-old and need a daddy. <laughs> so you're done having kids? No, I'm not adverse to having more kids, not at all, no. OK, how many would you have? Many you willing to push out. Wow, OK, OK. You ever been married? I was married for five years. How did that end? In a divorce. <laughs> have you ever dated a woman older than you? I have. If you can handle a woman 10 years older than you? <laughs> Nine, but who's counting? Ashley, we meet again. Hey, girl. Hey, hey, it's it's in the middle of a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> we making a okay, sandwich. Okay, let's make a sandwich. <laughs> right now, I'm not making a connection with anyone. I'm going to let you go on that point. <laughs> nice to meet you, Ashley. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm not worried about it. But I really just want to have a great conversation with a gentleman that makes sense for me. Mr. Jabari. Yeah, from yeah. From Mississippi. From Jackson, Mississippi. Where Mississippi. Where you from? I'm from D.C. And see, I like D.C. because okay. D.C. got some fire-ass people. Okay. Howard Homecoming? Yeah. Man. Okay. Did you attend the HBCU? Yeah, Texas Southern. Okay, yeah, I'm right across the street at University of Houston. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, okay. I... My conversation with Jabari is fun. It's just great banter. The verbal tennis match was fun to have. I'm sure we know a lot of the same people. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, we I mean, depending on how same. old you are. I'm 43, Howard. Okay, so we do not know the same people. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
all bets are off. So, uh, for my first date, um, um. Okay, Zadia, it's time to choose your first date. So, I did have a great conversation with Jabari. Um, yeah, I want to explore that. Okay, how do y'all feel about this? It is for the no kiss. Knock it out. Enjoy yourself. I get it. And Jabari's fair game. So I'm like, game's on. <laughs> that was an amazing first night, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Great. <laughs> Have fun on your dates, and I'll see y'all soon. Okay. I love that it's just a very way, like a very simple way of living. You eat, so drink, well and you be married. Eat, and I love sitting. it. <laughs> You're not eating. They think something's wrong with you. What's yeah. wrong with you, Sean? Why you not eating? Yeah. We're here for it, baby. I'm gonna eat whatever y'all toss our way, we gonna try it. I have not tried <laughs> to have an expanded waistline. I stopped eating. It's <laughs> my waist, you know, you know, big butt. I'm excited today about going on this date with Dom because I want to break down some layers. Can he fully be himself with me or am I too intimidating? Look at you. Hi, hey. you put my bag down, give me some yeah. love. <laughs> Seeing Ashley again, I was like, damn. That all black sundress and her sunglasses was simple but effective. How are you feeling after last night? I feel like, you know, me and you, Look, look at me, look at me. Okay, I'm gonna get a little serious. I wanna make sure in this journey that we're both taking, we really talk to one another. Yeah, right. Don't give me your representative, be right. your true self. Yeah. Are you ready for a serious connection? That's the ultimate desire, but I'm taking it as it comes. Okay, and I want someone who's comfortable with me being me. Yeah. The energy is the same from 6 a.m. To 6 p.m., I'm lit all day. What's up to 6 p.m.? Demon time. Uh -huh. <laughs> I find Ashley's personality as the most attractive thing about her. Ooh. Ooh. I gotta it. try it. I'm excited. I just never met a person like her. Her charisma just has me like, wow. Cheers, first day eating crawfish <laughs> together. <laughs> Look at us already stepping out of right. our comfort zone. That's good. Me and Ashley do have different personalities. I'm more chill, calm, relaxed. It's like they all staring at me. <laughs> Ashley, don't eat me. She, she's definitely outside the box for me. That's what I actually like about her. Are you ready to love? <laughs> 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 What's your overall love language? Acts of service mm -hmm. and quality That's me. time. Me too. I'm big on watching movies, cooking, in the house. We don't have to always go out. Yeah. Today was definitely a first step in getting to know Don. Don is a nice man. He's completely genuine, and that's what I need in my life. I need a good man. I'm loving the chemistry, and today made me like you a little bit more. Good. Yeah. I was worried, because <laughs> I'm a lot. <laughs> I mean, you can have all these little... OK. But... I'm a... <laughs> I'm ready to go out on my date with Antonio. I am just trying to keep it open and optimistic. Let's see what kind of conversation he has and start peeling back these layers. How are you doing, Hi, Antonio? Can you get to read well? I see him, and he has on a vest outfit. And I'm just thinking, where's the jacket? Why is he only in a vest and a shirt? and the vest has a print on the back. But see, that's superficial. I know that's something you can change for the right man. What did you think yesterday meeting all the ladies? Uh, interesting. Outstanding experience. How old are you? Let's 30, get that straight. 38. 38. I look kind of young, 38. I'm 38. Wow, that's what's nice. Wrong? What's wrong with that? I'm older than you. What? That's just a number. OK. 38 with three kids. Three kids. That's a lot of responsibility. It does concern me that you have a four-year-old and, like, maybe you're floating around. <laughs> but what does that mean? That's floating life. Around. I mean, What's you know, around me? I just feel like, why come you can't make it work with her? I think she does have a tough exterior, like a little bitty wall up. I mean, I can jump over, maybe. It's all about communication and, you know, just getting to know the person. 
It's just a toxic situation. Do you think you have that under control? Like, if you were in a relationship, do you think she would understand and respect you when you say, don't reach out to my woman, don't pry in my business? Absolutely. Okay. She wouldn't like it, but... Okay. I don't have time for that. But if I you will were... block and delete you in a minute. <laughs> don't call me, call Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this. Have you ever cheated? Are you a faithful man or are you a cheater? Back in the day, absolutely. So far, this man has said everything that I am not looking for, and I don't know how much more I can take. You know, back in the day, yes. I was immature. Okay. Okay. Cheating is definitely a deal breaker for me. That's a deal breaker for everybody. Okay. Check, please. I'm ready to go. Some people will look the other way or put up with it. Look the other way? You'll look the other way? I won't look the other way. When we go outside, go. My baby gonna go. What is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you on a date? Probably peed a little bit when I laugh. <laughs> I ran over my date's mailbox. He didn't know, but I knew. I'm like, oop! I'm not a NASCAR driver, so I tore that mailbox to shreds. <laughs> He's like, what happened? Don't worry about that, sweetheart. Just so I need to get back to my house. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Very excited about my date with Venetia. She's a very beautiful woman. Um, extremely attractive. Oh, this should be fun. This should be fun. After talking to Jabari, I'm definitely looking forward to going out with him. You know, it's not very often you meet somebody that you instantly click with like that. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Whatever Jabari has going on with Zadia has nothing to do with me. So am I worried about another woman? Never. <laughs> so tell me what you look at the game from this. Like, I mean, I know, of course, love. Don't give me the generic I don't look at the game like my person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, just genuinely having a hard time doing it by myself. Dating is hard. hard. I've day. seen it all. <laughs> I've heard it all. I had my day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I like to say cheap. playboy. Okay, you know, playboy. Okay, okay. You know, I had okay. A, my stage. So how know? long have you been out of that stage? A couple years, at least. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's time to now to... OK, let's really do something serious. I have two roles in my life I take very seriously, fatherhood and son. And the only one I don't have yet is husband. You know, you get older in life, and it's yeah. like, the real challenge is, can you be with one woman, dedicate your life to one, make her better? That, that's a challenge. That you is know, a challenge a for challenge. anybody, so, not just with men, but with women yeah. too. Jabari, yeah. I'm actually OK with his past and him used to be a player. Everybody need to get that out their system at one point. Because I feel like once you get past all of that, you get a better version of that person. How often do you come to Houston? Um, since my daughter has started college, I haven't been there as much. How long has she been in school? Two years. But before then, I was there all the time. I like Houston, though. I do have this thing for Houston girls. <laughs> so, Houston. Yeah, Houston, Houston lit. Houston got some beautiful women. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Houston that's the problem. That's why it's hard to date. Mm hmm. Y'all men can't focus. Y'all meet one beautiful woman, then you see another one, then you see another one, then you see, I'm like, Jesus, I'm not competing with no woman. Okay. So what do you add to a man? What do you bring to a man? Everything. I'm a nurturer. Okay. I'm a homemaker. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hardworking. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> What's interesting? You. <laughs> mm -hmm. You are. Yeah, I like to think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was blown away. She's a deep woman. She's a smart woman. She's authentic. All those things you, you know, you kind of look for. And easy on the eyes, very easy on the eyes. She has a great smile. Her smile will like wrap you in if you don't watch yourself. A woman like that has options. Stop making me blush. So <laughs> I'm a grown man over here, got me blush. And when can I ask for your phone number? Like, Whenever you want. Okay, that, okay I didn't know how this works. Whenever you want. <laughs> You got a dope vibe. You got a dope vibe. Thank you. Yeah. Me and Jabari have a great connection. <laughs> but also, Jabari is definitely a smooth talker. I'm not going to make that mistake again that I did on Ready to Love with locking in instantly. So I am keeping my options open, and I'm ready for the ride. Okay. It is so hot.
I'm excited to go on this date with Jabari. We had great conversation and banter the last time I saw him. And now I want to see if we have a deeper connection or not. Today's Zadie looked really pretty. Hair was on point. Uh, she really bought an A game. Okay, they got holy water. Okay, so we went from Florida to holy. Swamp witch. <laughs> no, how are y'all doing? Sure. <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> good, good. My name's LeBeau. I'm doing card readings. Would you be interested in a card reading? Sure. sure. Something you'd be interested in? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. cool. yeah. Well, come on over. I have never had a tarot card reading before. Jesus right there, and it's okay, we, we can go with it. Absolutely. But I'm open to experiencing this with a person that I don't know and see if he's open to experiencing it too, because that tells you a lot about a person. So is there anything you want to ask the cards about today? Let's just talk about love. Okay, let's talk about love. <laughs> I love that. All right, so the first card we have is the Queen of Cups. Okay, Queen. So this is all about the Queen energy, right? And it seems like you know what you want mm. and you know secure in your heart what you need. Mm. So keep that about you okay, is what that cups. first card says. And now your turn. All right, let's do this. All right, so we do have a two of swords. Okay. This is a card about trusting your intuition mm. because she's got two swords. She's got to decide which direction to go in. Mm -hmm. So you've got decisions to make as well. Okay. Uh, you thought you were the one that had to make the decisions. <laughs> I don't know. I got to be The reading that LeBeau gives me is damn near perfect. All right, thank, thank you. you. All right, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> and I do like a man that is open-minded, and Jabari rose to the occasion. Where do you see yourself in, like, the next five years? I just kind of want to... I am definitely married. Um, traveling, vacation, still working. Okay. Um, putting my daughter through a master's. OK. Yeah. What about you? Um, so in five years, I do see myself, like, with my spouse and us tra traveling, yes. Okay. And um, just, like, building, like, okay. building together. I do not foresee children, seriously. Um, that's just like one Ever. of those things. Did she pull the card? She didn't pull the card. It, it's, not, it's not in the future, it's not she written. Didn't pull the card. <laughs> I always thought like a, a woman's thing was being a mother, being a nurturer, being a wife. But I am like open to a discussion with contracts involved. It's, it's a layered process. Oh, wow. And the contract is going to include me not waking up on Saturday mornings because a doll needs to sleep in. Also, you gotta have the stash and the cash for some nip tuck because mama had to snap back, okay? <laughs> I'm open to the discussion. The discussion, <laughs> the soft no, the soft no, I got you. But a soft no can always turn, you know, into a maybe. Oh, oh, wait, you're about to get in the pool? I just need some water, girl. Well, tell me what you've been doing, though. <laughs> oh, this feels nice. Yes, ma'am. Oh, man, oh. I needed this. Mm -hmm. yeah. I needed to be around people like me. How do you feel living with three other women? I actually, like, this morning I was thinking about this. Like, sometimes I can get so into, like, my own regimens that I kind of forget everything else that's going on around me. So I do want to utilize this time to like get to know you guys a, a lot more. But I stay up to 2 o'clock a.m. because I'm not doing that with you, OK? I'm not, I'm not doing that with you, Ashley. I'm a I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you like maybe an extra hour at night. OK, <laughs> I need my quality time with you. Zadi is my road dog. She definitely matches me almost everywhere from style. She's fun. She's assertive. I really like her. I'm going to make us some turkey burgers tonight. Oh, yay! I took the meat out earlier. So how do you make your turkey burgers? Hold on. Skirt, um, skirt. I don't tell my secrets. I own two restaurants. You can Google them. Oh, Google me. OK. I had, I got Ashley Dinah with my family. Yeah. And then after we sold that, we opened up Spanky's Bar and Grill. Yeah, Girl, no. I didn't even tell you. Well, I ain't going to worry about that. It's about my what? dad. What? That's for my father was my OK. Dad. December 8th, 2008. Oh, no, Life no. ain't been the same. So, um... Y'all were, like, super close. Very. This is my stepfather. Who, he adopted me. OK. He went outside trying to break up a fight. The next thing you know, gunshots rang out, gunshots all through the building. Bullet went past my mom. 
and my dad was outside laying on the ground. Unfortunately, we lost my superhero that day. As Ashley is talking to me about her history, I feel a lot of sympathy for her. I really appreciate her for even trusting me with this information. And I just want to comfort her in any way that I can. My family's been through a lot, but I don't wear all that hurt on me. Yeah. I don't have hate in my heart. But um, that hurt. I think that's a real issue with me. Seriously, why do I have a man? I got daddy issues. Yeah. And I ain't found nobody like him, and I think that's the man that I've been searching for. Somebody that protects the family, provides, that loves you unconditionally, that will never leave you. I had him on such a high pedestal, and one bullet take my whole world. We're not gonna go here tequila. I miss my dad to pieces. I really do, but I thank him and my mother for instilling family in me. And although my example didn't get to last forever, I still have it here and here. And so I know what I want and I know what I deserve. I hope this doesn't make me look weak. It's no, just no. I feel close enough to be able to be vulnerable with you no. and tell you really what I be going no. through. Oh, weak. Vulnerability is not weak, period. All right, Bernisha and Zadia, y'all both had dates with Jabari. So, Bernisha. Did he bring that NOLA flavor? How'd it go? We had great chemistry. Conversation was really good. We have a lot in common. We're both very family oriented. All the time was over, he asked for my number. <laughs> oh, okay. Huh. But, 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 yeah. but, 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 no. I see, I made that mistake on Ready to Love. Like, what mistake? Going, going with the first guy, like the first, my first interest, don't even really see nobody else, just locked in. I don't want to do We're that. not going to do this. What we're not going to do is compare to the last relationship. You can't do that. I don't want anything to stifle that connection that you have. I that agree, can, I'm not. Yeah. Like, I'm going to let it flow. Okay. But I'm also going to engage in other guys and connections. I'm not just going to stop it there. OK. Zadia, you had a date with Jabari. Any sparks? Um, I mean, well, it was great banter. Okay. He's a gentleman, for sure. Did you feel more friend zone? Did you feel more chemistry? Definitely a lot of friend zone. Yes. Okay. I'm not even mad about that. I'm yeah. not even mad. Because I mean, friendship is like the greatest place to yeah. start. And you can always either build on that or not. Well, ladies. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> but now, oh. I have a little more about this process i like to share. Y'all been picking your men for a long time, and it has not really worked out. For your first date, you got to choose the man. But for your next date, your matchmaker will be doing the choosing. OK. We love it. <laughs> I'm definitely weighing my options, and I'm not just settling for one guy. So, Tamika, that is music to my ears, baby. OK, so this is how everything's going to work. After going out with my pick, we'll regroup, discuss both dates. And at that point, you'll make a decision. You'll continue dating one man, and you will end things with the other. I'm thinking, OK, this could get complicated. It could get to the point where I'm just laying up all night thinking, which one, which one, which one? Let me pick the best one. Keep the man that you can build a relationship with and let go of the weaker connection. So who wants to get started? Us, all of us. I ain't never had this much excitement. It's like from one surprise <laughs> to the next. Who? At the front door are your new dates that I picked out. Let's get it, let's go, let's get it, let's go, let's get it, let's go, let's get it, let's go. No way. Let's rock, let's roll. Uh, off top, out of control. Let's get it, let's go. Hello, hi. Let's always keep focused on our goal. You're here in New Orleans to find a man to see if you're ready to make a move. Cheers to this. We all deserve the best. All right, ladies, do you want to know who I have matched you with? Oh, wow. Now, Holly, hallelujah, how you doing, how you Be careful, these sidewalks are kind of dangerous and tricky. Oh, 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 What else do I need to know about you? I have 17 cats. 17? Are you joking? Yeah. So it's simple. Keep the man that you can build relationship with 
-hmm. Let go of that weaker connection. And as always, all of the men are fair game. I heard you went on a date with Zadia. But you were better. Oh. I'm right here. Uh, <laughs> okay. You are a priority, but my options are still open. Okay, I want to hear how things are going on in the house. I have rules. Like what? Like no guys in the house. Did that something happen? I felt betrayed. You clearly do not care for anybody else to have their own story Are to you tell. telling you me what I care about? I'm in a space where I'm uncomfortable. I done left my safe space to come here. Don't with me. What a party at! Could you see me living here? People do anything for love, so. It's time to let them know once and for all, are you moving here to New Orleans? Oh, she's not moving. <laughs> Basically calling me mad, super aggressive. What the f Like, this too hard. If you're looking for love. I just want you to understand the things that are important to me. It's just a big decision. Gotta find a way trying to taste their life. Is this connection going to see more New Orleans, or are you just gonna nip it in the bud now? I'm just not sure about this. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Hopefully you might not want to go back to Miami. It's okay. Yeah.